the ABC method. Let's talk about it. Um, if you'd like to find out more about self-development made simple, visit my website, chriskemp.com, where I discuss self-development made simple. A few weeks ago, I was talking with my friend Terry. She's a NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming Certified Therapist and Family Counselor. And she told me about the ABC method. A plus B equals C. A equals a situation. B is a meaning you assign to the situation. And C are the feelings you get as a result of A plus B. You can use the ABC method to gain a new perspective on a current situation, to shed light onto a circumstance or situation and gain clarity. And with that clarity, you can see that situation from an entirely new perspective. <clears throat> and um, these techniques and strategies will enable and empower you to find a remedy for that situation that much quicker so let's talk specifically how you could use the ABC method in your life. <clears throat> Again, A equals a situation, B equals the meaning you assign to the situation, and C equals the feelings you get as a result. Let's talk about relationships. Perhaps you're in a situation where you're in a relationship and your partner is pulling away, he or she is not available, and that's the situation. A, the situation is you're in this relationship, you really care for this person, and this person is pulling away. That's the situation that would be A. B is a meaning would, the meaning you assign to the situation. So let's say in this example, A, the situation your partner is pulling away. Let's say that you could assign many different meanings to this. So let's say the meaning that you assign to this is that my partner doesn't love me, um, I am too fat, I am not attractive to him or her, I don't make enough money for him or her, I don't have a college degree, um, if I don't make it work with this one person, I will, never, I will not find love. So that's one meaning you can assign to the situation that your partner is pulling away. Now, if you do assign that meaning to that situation, your partner pulling away, what type of feelings are you going to get as a result? The feelings you'll get as a result are going to be very, very negative. You might, so if A is a situation, your partner's pulling away, and B, the meaning you assign to the situation is that uh, you're unlovable, you're unworthy, he or she doesn't like you because they found out that what a loser you are, then see the feelings you're gonna get as a result are gonna be depression and hopelessness. Those are little tears. You're gonna be sad all the time. You'll be crying and now, <clears throat> what can you change with the ABC method? What you can change is a B. The B is what you can change with the ABC method. And think about all the situations that you're going through. Literally, the only thing that you really have control of, excuse me, is the B, is the meaning you assign to the situation. Let's talk about the same situation. <clears throat> excuse me, let's find a different meaning for it. Situation, you're with your partner, you really like this guy or this girl, they're pulling away, and you feel like they don't love you anymore. Let's say, let's assign a different meaning to it. So the situation is they're pulling away. Let's assign a different meaning to it. How about they're pulling away because they want more freedom. They want to do whatever they want to do. Maybe they decided that they want to travel. Maybe that they decided uh, they just want to be free to date other people. It could be a number of reasons. It's not all about you. Let's say you assign 
the meaning, the situation, they're pulling away, and the meaning you assign to it is this other person wants more freedom. Now, if this other person, let's see, let's see, put it here. This is you. This is the other person running away. Now, if this other person wants more freedom, they want more freedom. The situation is you're in a relationship with this person. They're pulling away from you, this other person. The meaning you assign to the situation is this other person wants more freedom. Then the feelings you can get as a result is, okay, this other person is going through something. This other person wants more freedom. And as a result, you can just be like, hmm, And you can look at it like this guy's or this girl's rubbing her chin, so hmm, this other person wants more freedom. So it really has nothing to do with you. You know, everyone's chasing a feeling, and feelings come and go. And the sun doesn't rise and set on anyone else's shoulders except for your own. I talk about this in my new e ebook that you can grab your copy of The Three Secrets of Happiness. You can go to the three secrets of happiness.com to get your copy. So if you assign a new meaning to the situation, then the feelings as a result will change. So in this case, the other person's the person's pulling away, the meaning assigned to the situation is they want more freedom, they want something different, maybe they want to move, maybe they don't want to be in a relationship, maybe they just they want to work more and save money. Maybe they decided they want to give up altogether. Maybe they like someone else. But, you know, if you look at that practically, okay, they want something different. And the, if you assign this new meaning, then the feelings will change. You won't be as so distraught because it really has nothing to do with you. So this is just an overview of the ABC method. Think of a situation you're in and ask yourself, what type of meaning am I giving to it? Because the only thing you can, can really control is the meaning you're giving to it. So if you're sad all the time, let's say, let's say the situation is this, okay? Sorry, excuse me. Let's say the situation is I hate my job. And let's say the meaning you assign to it is I am trapped. Then the feelings you'll get as a result is trapped. But let's say the situation is you hate your job and the meaning you assign to the situation can be something like I hate my job because I'm 100 times smarter than all the bozos and clowns that I work with. And that might sound as, as like a feeling of superiority, but perhaps that's just what it is. Maybe you are smarter than all the people that you work with. And in that case, you can keep working there because subconsciously you might enjoy that. You might enjoy feeling superior to the people you work with while at the same time hating yourself for not quitting because you're comfortable and familiar with it and comfortable and familiar are kind of like two handcuffs on your hand they have to let go of and it's keeping you in a pot super small that you're unable to leave because if you grow bigger than that pot you're gonna to have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable by finding another pot to grow in it's kind of like if you're not growing where you're planted you should plant yourself where you're going to grow so a i hate my job b i'm trapped c the feelings you get is i'm trapped um, I'm stuck. I can't do anything. The meaning you could assign to hate your job is you hate it because <clears throat> it's not what you were meant to do. You're not using your God-given skill uh, to benefit mankind, to serve others, to glorify God, to add value to humanity, so to speak. And in that case, well, put in a two weeks notice and demonstrate value and demonstrate, you know, hone your skills and find the alignment of passion, skills, and market, and uh, create your own job and work for yourself, or work at a job that's going to value your skills. Anyway, this is an overview of A plus B equals C. 
A is a situation, B is the meaning you assign to the situation, and C are the feelings you get as a result of A plus B. So I hope this has helped. If you want more information, go to chriskemp.com. Self-development made simple. Thank you.